978 Dance. We are live at Tomorrowland in Belgium and joining us right now in the studio, we have Dom Dollar. How you doing, buddy? Woo! I'm, I'm really good. Really really that was my cue. Did you like it? <laughs> <laughs> He's the, yeah, the yeah, clap the guy. I'm the clap like guy. It. No, I'm, I'm great. I'm great. I'm tired, but uh, but very excited. You've just well. flown in from uh, Ibiza. Before that, we were in Greece. Yes, I saw and that. before that, I can't really remember. <laughs> yeah, it it's must be a bit like that now, because it's been a whirlwind for you in the past. What, how long has it been? It, it feels like, when did, the, when did the track come out that like literally just took off immediately? Uh, six, six months? Uh, yeah, it would have been. I think it was like August last year. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've been, I've been touring. Like I, I started touring in the States uh, three or four years ago yeah. but um sort of it was pretty sort of consistently growing but that kind of just sort of skyrocketed it a yeah bit. and i guess this summer is just crazy back yeah. to back yeah it's it's I've, I've, i think i'll be going home for longer than a week for the first time since january next week nice so tick all the family boxes go and go and yeah. eat your favorite food exactly yeah <laughs> i home love cook, it home cooked meals there's only so many uber eats you can have <laughs> yeah but you so. can't wait so you've kind of riding the crest of this this kind of tech house wave that is going off the charts right now yeah totally. um there's a little bit of, of of rivalry going on in australia but there's also some great music coming from yourself and there's some stuff that we can look forward to coming as well you said Remixes. yeah yeah i've uh, i've um there's an amazing aussie artist and good friend of mine hayden james yes who writes like yeah, amazing I mean, amazing I- pop records um and he's just put out a new single uh, that I'm remixing I think comes out next week it's called Nowhere to Go okay amazing um, and then I've got another single uh, San Francisco which is probably out a few or a month or so after that San so Francisco San Francisco awesome. that's one of my favourite things ever <laughs> yeah no I, uh, I wrote that in you won't believe it I wrote that one um, <laughs> and uh, I wrote it in Burbank <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah that one's uh, yeah that one's got my creepy little voice on it as well really so, yeah. oh, we're awesome. a big fan of that he's got, we've got his voice on half the tracks all yeah. like so i've got a great idea and then you think we'll just stick with that one you yeah. know no need to <laughs> that's it you get what is it it's demo artists you get so attached to the original demo yeah it's the hardest just, thing yeah it's hard to pass so yeah i love it so so from my side i've w- kind of wanted to ask you a little bit well one thing i definitely wanted to ask before i go into your live experience like traveling around the world mm. how was the first crowd dive crowd surf oh. actually do you know what hey, we was, watched that earlier yeah it was the crate and barrel version of a crowd surf I was sitting up you were so your posture was fantastic <laughs> so organised <laughs> we were literally like he's not done one yet try that, face down that was that was a lot of peer pressure involved in that I'm not really a crowd I'm not really the crowd surfing type but you know I, there were, no, were enough people it looked almost you. therapeutic as they were like just passing you yeah. along you know I was yeah I was yeah begrudgingly but I enjoyed it in the end it was fun yeah I, I saw a bit of peer pressure because you can't sitting in an armchair almost from what yeah. I know of Billy Kenny as well. Peer pressure is is is. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Yeah. yeah, he's a whirlwind. <laughs> you do, unfortunately, again, you do seem to be ending up on stages with. You just want to. It's like you might as well just go. Can I just make a chilled house track? Yeah, yeah, Has yeah. Anyone got a beach I can relax? I think on? that's. I think yeah. All the other artists know that I'm like to be relatively low key, so they deliberately <laughs> come and poke the bear type thing. So I love it. But you're yeah. enjoying <laughs> traveling. Where's yeah. been the best place that you've been so far this year, if you can even remember? Oh wow. Um, Probably, I love playing shows in New York City. Yes, um, I love. I played a show in the UK. Um, my first show in London recently. Amazing, Egg, which was incredible. Oh, really? Yeah, um, it's a great venue. Uh, I'm trying to think of where else. Greece was, yeah, fantastic. That show. Greece was is like, beautiful had, as well. I had no idea how that show was going to go, and it just, yeah, it really looked amazing. My mind. So it looked amazing. Um, yeah, it's 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 been really interesting. Um, really strange, obscure little towns like. Uh, like um, Minneapolis and stuff okay. like that, you know. I think well, uh, America has this culture over there where, uh, I, and I've been reading this recently. A lot of artists, you know, the big cities, of course, you fall in love with all the New Yorks and places of like that. Course, yeah. But there's some crazy places that you least expect it in America, where there's a, this. It's almost like an Asian style of kind of fandom where they know your music, yeah. they vibe out, and it must be a shock because it's all so fresh. Yeah, well, that yeah, there was a. I think what was the show? It was in like South Carolina or something. There was like <laughs> three hundred people in a two fifty packs room, all just going wow. absolutely nuts. And I was like, "Where are we again? Where are, is yeah. it?" And you're just yeah. like just going all in with the music. Yeah, yeah, it was fantastic. I loved Crazy. it. Crazy so. touring plans. What what's uh, what's coming up? Big festivals. Uh, I've got um, both this weekend and uh, next week. Weekend for here at Tomorrowland. Amazing. And then uh, I've got to head back to the States to play Hard Summer and uh, another couple of club shows before I go back to Australia to play a festival run called Listen Out with uh, McFloom and Diplo and 
pretty it's wow. a, it's a it's an awesome little sort of fusion of hip hop and, and house music this festival so it's it's uh yeah it's had some amazing acts in the past and I've gone to it every year since I was like 21 so I'm pumped to be a part that's of awesome it. yeah which yeah, yeah, could be a fun. part of something you've always yeah. loved to go to yeah that's awesome pretty much like Tomorrowland I guess yeah well the first time I came or the last time I was here I was 19 I think so maybe six years ago with all my mates and love it but yeah I'd, I'd been DJing for a few years and I like, wouldn't it be cool if you played here one day and I was like yeah yeah it's and like, here you are playing like, both weekends pipe dreams <laughs> sleep in the middle sleep in the middle man yeah uh, awesome man well I guess we're gonna let you uh, get on with it because you've got a big big evening ahead of you so yeah. Um, it's been a pleasure. Dom Donner. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Cheers, Thanks, man. man.